Hello, my name is Chris. I've worked years to get to this point. To build my reputation. To call myself a photographer. My special skill is framing things we can't see with our own eyes. It's over in the blink of an eye. With an ordinary camera and the iron will to succeed, I will do everything I can to get the perfect picture. So this is my challenge. This is the high speed challenge. Oh man, it's getting cold outside. And then you come back inside to a warm fireplace. Well, basically it's like the elements meet, you know, fire and ice. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. So, I've got some ice and some fire. Let's see what happens when they meet the first time. Also, if you want to know how to make your own very clear ice cubes, stay tuned until the end. Well, today's setup is a very basic one. It consists of my camera, the flash trigger. Um, this time, the only difference is I need to adjust the camera before I can actually take the picture. Because as you imagine, there is going to be a flame and it's going to be very bright. So I need to adjust that uh, f-stops in the camera before I take the picture. So we have the things we need for a nice cold meeting. Or will it be warm? Actually, I don't know how to put this, but um, the question is always is, will I frame it? Not bad, let's do some more adjustments. Okay, now we got it. So will I frame it? Yes, I will. It's time for my little tip, how to get very clean ice cubes. And um, actually you just need a little bit of, you know, DIY stuff. And if you know how to glue things together, that's perfect. You can't. 
test it via a water. Just fill it up with water over the sink and you will actually see if it's waterproof or not. If it is not waterproof, that's not a problem because you can actually take a bag, just take a plastic bag, put it in there and then fill up that plastic bag uh, with water. Now the process that starts here is called directional freezing. What that means is that the freezing, the freezing process will start from the top and stop at the bottom. That's exactly what we want because we want the ice to be clear of any air or something else. Now what happens is because it starts from the top it will press out the air bubbles um, and the air will collect or the air will be on the bottom of this entire build. So what happens is after 12 hours you put it out in the freezer Turn it over. Then you will lift it up and you will be left with the ice. It's the clearest ice that you've ever seen. There's nothing in it, just clear ice. And that's how you do an ice cube. Thanks for watching. If you found that video somehow informative, funny or anything else, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and share it with your family and friends. So until next time, Chris out. Bye.